Hi kids, I am going to show you how to graph some heating and cooling curve data. And I found some for, th for water, and I've put this into Google Sheets already. I've put the quantity that I'm measuring with its unit in parentheses. And um, if you want to make this little uh, degree symbol, what you do is you use Control Shift U. 0, 0, B, 0, and then hit enter, and it will make that symbol for you. All right, let's, let's graph this data. I'm going to grab the center of the time cell, and you can click and drag it like this. Or to be more precise, I like to hold down the shift key and then use the arrow keys to go and select my data. Then I'm not worrying about scrolling around. And then I'm going to go to insert chart, or you could just hit this insert chart button right here. And it's going to make your graph. So you can see that we've got some uh, cooling, heating and cooling curve data, and they're both on the same, same graph. So let's make this look a little better. So this is going to, the title is going to be heating and cooling curves of water. You can actually click right on the chart on the line to get so, to do some different things. I kind of like to see a little bit of a the circle on here. I like to see the little dots. So I'm going to change this point size to I'm going to go to seven. Yeah, I like that. Um, I also like the cooling curve. I'm double clicking, by the way, um, to be blue because that means it's cooling and the heating curve to be red. I associate that with that. All right, so that looks pretty good, except we've got a problem here. On this left side, we don't have a label, and that label needs to be temperature. All right, so we're going to go to the vertical axis. No, we aren't going to the vertical axis. This is weird. The chart title and axis. So we're going to say the vertical axis here for the title. And our title is going to be temperature in degrees Celsius. Again, control shift U, 0, 0, B, 0, enter C. And you can see that it's it's shown it right. It's shown it now. Um, and then... Um, this is pretty good. I, you can change certain things like, like say grid lines, uh, step value means how often you want it. I could say five and you'll see that it's going to put a line every five. Oh, I do not want that for that side. I want, oh, we could do, let's try 10. That's a, that's still a little bit much, but not too bad. I want the horizontal axis to be a step value of five. There we go. Um, you can also do certain things like for the horizontal axis, for example, you can change the size of it, say to 20. That's kind of big for that. We'll do auto again. Um, if you want the horizontal axis title to be different, you have to go to chart axis and title. And so the oh, let's say the horizontal axis font size, if we'd say that's going to be 20. I do like that a little bigger than it is, but I don't know about that. But there we go, 16. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to change the vertical axis to 16 as well. They should both be the same size, whichever you choose. All right, and now you can take this, if you grab it and do control C, you could put it into anything you like. So let's put it into a Google Slides, which you will do for your current lab, most likely the current lab you're. All right, 
don't want this stuff there. Okay, control V. I'm going to paste this unlinked. And you can see this is now a chart in the Google Slides. That's about it. That's how you graph the heating and cooling curves in Excel. I'm sorry, in Google Sheets. <laughs>